Hi, my name is Rick, and I will be showing you two simple ways to customize your icons on the Vivaldi web browser. So without any more delays, let's just jump right into this. Now this is what the front page of Vivaldi looks like, and these are the icons that I will be showing you how to customize. And we will be looking at this plus icon right here. Uh, once you first open up uh, Vivaldi, once you first install Vivaldi, if you haven't already, uh, this will be all different. I customized these icons and moved a few things around that I'll be showing you, so you might have to look around when I'm explaining stuff. But anyways, to set an icon to click on, to go to a certain web page, uh, once you click on this plus button, it turns into an X and it pops up this box down here to where you can type in the address that you want to place there for a shortcut. So let's say we want to put a shortcut to Facebook. It adds Facebook to the list and if you click on it, it will go to your Facebook uh, login page. So how to customize this? First of all, you can customize this also. You can leave it as the web address or you can just click on it and type in whatever you want there. Just click off it and it secures it. So to customize this, you have to click on this little plus icon right here, but you have to have something to put into it. So that's what I want to show you, the two different ways that you can customize that. So, so once you're in Photoshop, you can go and create a new document. Uh, I have it set here for eight inches wide by six and a half inches tall at 72 uh, DPI. I have it set to inches uh, because the Vivaldi icons are more of a rectangle than they are a square. So assuming you know a little bit about Photoshop or any manipulation program that you are running, uh, first you select your color We'll set a blue for, uh, to get close to the Facebook color, it doesn't have to be perfect. To uh, fill the background color, make sure this, the top color is selected and then hit Alt Backspace, which will fill it with your foreground color. Uh, make another layer, select text, go up here to your text color, select whatever color you want your text to be, and then click it in, and I find that Arial that font, if you type in a lower F, that roughly resembles the, full, uh, the uh, Facebook uh, icon or the logo. And you can resize it to whatever size you want. Drag it where you want it. And now it can just be as simple as that, or you can continue uh, designing it however you feel uh, that you want it to. This is just one way. You can hit save. Save it on your computer. As a JPEG. And save it. You don't have to save it in a very high resolution either. You can save it as a 5 or medium resolution. And then you can go back to the web page. And then you can go to the plus icon. Select the icon you just designed and voila, there you have a customized uh, shortcut key for your speed dial icon in Vivaldi. Now if you don't have a editing program, let's get rid of this one by hitting the minus key. And we will do that again. And let's say we want a YouTube. As I mentioned before, you can type in a custom text. Check to see if it goes to YouTube, and it does. 
And now we will design something without using a editing software. So we'll just go to another tab, search for YouTube icon image, select on images, and then whichever one you want, just click on one. And once you find an icon, you can click on this little uh, camera icon in Vivaldi. That's a screenshot inside of the browser itself. It, I customize it also up here. It might be down in the lower right. But anyway, look around for the camera icon and click on that. Go to selection and save as JPEG or whichever you want. Hit capture and then it'll give you a plus icon. You just uh, click your mouse button, drag around the area that you want copied and then let go. As soon as you let go, this icon will pop up in your lower right. And if you're satisfied with that, just click on that and it will save it. Go back to this page, hit your plus button and go to captures and your screenshot that you just screenshotted and then just select it. And there you go. Two different ways that you can customize with or without a photo editing program. Another way that you can customize Vivaldi is you can see in the background, I have a picture back here. Just click on your icon up here in the upper right. Make sure you're logged in. And if you go to appearance and down here, select image, then you can select an image that's on your computer to put on your background. You can select a theme, which is underneath appearance or pre-made colors. You can also do custom colors, a dark theme, light theme, uh, right here, here down, down underneath, underneath the top, top uh, icons. You can edit the theme and do your own. And you can go to your start page selection right here which is your front page uh, this is where you can select a custom color for your background if you just want a blank background a custom image like I showed you before or your desktop wallpaper another way you can customize the icons are down here where it says maximum columns you can click on that and columns are just how many across the page that you want. You can set it for three. And you can set it for 10. And it'll go all the way across the top. And they automatically adjust if you minimize it. Adjust it. It'll automatically adjust it. And you can go from huge icons or tiny ones. But either way, that's just one quick way or a couple quick ways to customize the Vivaldi icons. Anyways, I'll just get rid of this one. Go back to my settings. Again, I am Rick. Uh, there was just a couple quick ways to customize your icons in Vivaldi. I'd like to wish you a good day. And until next time, have a groovy.